Welcome back everyone. It's been a minute since I made an iPhone tricks tips video, whatever you're gonna call it. So I figured out I might as well talk about some of my favorite tricks and tips that some of you may not even know about for your specific iPhones. Now starting off, one of my favorite iPhone tricks that I just realized that I'm somebody who talks about iPhones a lot. Even I didn't know this, which is so crazy which was basically, you know, getting more features on your camera, on your iPhone. And this is pretty much compatible for any iPhone. I think I am running iOS 14 here, so it's more of a software thing than a specific iPhone thing. You don't need an iPhone 12 to do this stuff. So what you want to do is you want to make your way over to your camera app. Now, once you do that, you may see that your camera app looks pretty normal. I'm pretty sure everyone's seen this before. But here's the crazy thing. I didn't know this. You can actually get way more camera features on your device without having to move around anything just by swiping up. And now look, you have this new bar down here, which you can automatically just change up a bunch of stuff that you want to. Now you can have the flash, you can turn on or off live photo, you can change the aspect ratio of your photos, which I would always recommend going to 16 by 9. You can go change, you know, the exposure. So if you want to increase the exposure or decrease the exposure, which is pretty much just the brightness of your photos, you can do so by just sliding this up or sliding this down. As you can see, I screwed it up a little bit. You can turn on a timer, whether you want it on or off. Swapping out of this one, you can also add filters. Now, I think this is a humongous reason why people use these type of apps or use the extra features is because you can literally just add a filter just by going through. And look at that. You can pretty much just keep going through and using the filters. Now, I will tell you, from what I've seen, these filters that Apple has are some of the best filters that you could do while taking the photos. And I think they're even better than post-processing. So taking a photo and then adding a filter afterwards. And that's mostly because if you go ahead and kind of, you know, zoom in, zoom out, these filters dynamically change. They increase or decrease certain things. So that's a humongous thing with other filters. They kind of just add them and then, you know, you kind of mess with it later. This one, it messes with it in real time, which is great. So that's a cool little thing. Maybe some of you know about that. Me personally, I didn't know about that. And it's definitely one of my favorite things that you should look into. And the next thing I'm going to tell you, which I'm sure most of you do know by now, but it's Backtap. So what Backtap is basically is that within iOS 14, you have to be on iOS 14 to do this. You can actually create custom commands to when you double tap the back, a certain action will be taken on your specific iPhone. Now this is great because you know for some iPhones out there, some, for some iPhone users, you may have broken buttons, you may not be able to do certain things, but with Backtap, you can actually go ahead and kind of you know get some more life from your phone. So you wanna go into your settings app, you want to go scroll down into accessibility, which is right here. Once you're here, you want to scroll down to touch, which is right here. I throw the screen up. So click touch. And here, what you want to do is scroll down until you see back tap. Now, as you can see, I have it off, but I'm going to go ahead and enable it. But what you can do is you can have things to when you double tap or triple tap literally the back around that Apple logo, it'll go ahead and do something on the device. So let's go and do double tap and you'll basically see that you have a ton of different options. So let's say you wanted to go ahead and screenshot the phone when you double tap the back. Well, I could go and click here and now watch. When I double tap the back of this phone, which I'm going to do right now, you'll see that it'll go ahead and take a screenshot. Now this is great, I will tell you, since iOS 14 has gotten a lot better, so you don't have to, it's not randomly gonna go off. If you double tap a lot, it's going to randomly do it. Like If you kind of look, it's gonna probably do it at some point. No, I guess not, so it's gotten much better now. So you can go ahead and do this with a ton of different capabilities. So if I go back over here, there's a lot of different things. You can get into the lock screen, which is great. So if you want to power off your phone, you can just double tap the back and it'll go and take you straight into the lock screen. As you can see, it locks the phone, which is awesome. So some of you may want to do that. Instead of clicking the buttons over time, you can just do that. So that's another really cool thing. You can power off the, you can turn off the screen and everything without even having to use the buttons, which is awesome. Now, speaking about screenshots, another thing that I want to show you is an image thing. And I talked about this before, but dude, I'm telling you, this is something I use all the time. I use it for some thumbnails that I make on my phone. I will literally screenshot something on my MacBook, send it over to my iPhone to do it on here. And that's drawing perfect shapes within screenshots. So what this looks like is you want to go and click on your photos. You can go into any photo, really. I'm going to just go into this random one. It doesn't matter. So I'll click here. So I'll click here. All you have to do is get into edit mode. And once you get into edit mode, you will basically be able to see the little drawing icon, which you want to click up here and you want to click markup. And once you're here, and once you're here, you want to draw a specific shape. Now in this specific case, I'm going to go ahead and just cover up the whole entire image because I don't like this color. And I probably just screwed it up even more, but it's okay. So I'll go ahead and zoom in right here in this specific area. It's totally okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw a circle. So normally if you wanted to circle something, you'd go and just circle like this and be like, okay, that's good enough. That's a circle. 
Well, let's say you wanted to make a perfect circle. Well, you would, all you have to do is draw the shape that you kind of want and keep holding it down and it'll automatically draw that shape. So this is me drawing a circle if I just kind of winged it. But look at this. If I go ahead and draw like this and I hold it down, you can see that it automatically changed it to a perfect shape. Now I can do the same thing by, you know, if I want to do a square. So I draw a square to the best of my ability and I hold it down and you will see it'll draw a perfect square for me. Now I use circles a lot on my thumbnail. So, you know, I do it on my phone, but also arrows. So I literally will go ahead and draw an arrow like this and nine times out of 10, it totally screws it up. But like that 10th time, it's such a perfect arrow that I literally like that. Now it was good for a second, but you can draw perfect lines, circles, squares. There's a ton of different things you have within this. And again, it's one of my favorite tricks to do on any iPhone out there that supports iOS 14. Now, another thing some people may not even know about moving on to our Safari browser is actually closing out of your tabs. Now, first of all, if you'll see here, I have a ton of different tabs and this isn't even that much, but let's say you had 50 different tabs on your device. Well, you don't want to scroll through and scroll out of every single one like this, you know, especially a lot of people who don't know how to use their iPhones that well, they'll just have a bunch of tabs over time. So a great way to actually remove all these tabs is literally just by holding down the done button. So you want to get into your, you know, tab view here by clicking this bottom corner button, which shows you all the tabs. And then at this point, you just want to hold down the done button and you'll see that you'll get this close all X amount of tabs out. Now, this is exactly where you want to be. So in order to close out of all your tabs, all you have to do is click close all eight tabs. You'll get a little pop-up and it'll go and ask you, do you want to close all eight tabs? You want to go and click close all tabs. And now look, you can see that it closed out of all these tabs. You don't have any tabs in the background either. And this is another really awesome thing that you can do to actually go ahead and clean up your iPhone. Sometimes if you have a bunch of tabs in the background, you can actually go ahead and slow down your performance overall. Now, finally, the last thing I'm going to go ahead and show you is within Safari. It may use it may be useful for Chrome too and some other you know web browsers, but it's basically scrolling up and down your web pages faster than you would think. So first of all, if you go into the Apple website or any website for the matter, you may just find yourself like endlessly scrolling down over and over and over again. And you know, you may have been going to the bottom of the page and you're like, oh great, I gotta go swipe back up all the way to the top. Well, with this trick, all you have to do for this is system wide, I think for most other tabs out there and for most other, you know, web browsers for your iPhone, all you have to do is double tap pretty much the area between the notch and pretty much where the search bar is. So just like this, and it'll go ahead and bring you back up all the way back to the front page. So this is great because you can be super deep. I found myself being super deep in all sorts of different areas, like with this iPhone 12 thing. Look how deep I have to scroll down. And sometimes I'm like, okay, I'm ready to look back at the top again and I forget. In order to do this, all you have to do is double tap the top just like this and look, I'm all the way back at the top again. And that's really, again, one of my favorite tricks and or tips that I use on my iPhone pretty much almost on an everyday basis in order to actually go ahead and scroll through all the web pages here. So that's really pretty much it. Those are some of my favorite tricks and tips that you may not know about on any iPhone out there. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button down me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.